Escondido playing host to the first day of the Amgen Tour of California. The world champion, Philippe Gilbert, facing his first day on American soil as a cyclist. 127 riders rolling away from Escondido, and that's where they would return to after a ride of 102.6 miles. Yes, a circular route around Escondido, but out on the course, three climbs. The biggest of the climbs coming halfway through at Mount Palomar before a very difficult third category climb towards the end of Cole Grade. And then they would come down into the finish. The talking point of the day was the heat of the day. And the highest point of this year's race, Mount Palomar topping out at 5,318 feet. And temperatures of the day hit 104 degrees Fahrenheit. 72 kilometers from the finish, four riders were still out front. A breakaway of four, which has started very early on, were beginning to thin out as the riders got on to the slopes of Mount Palomar. Nonetheless, they were still quite a long way ahead. Yes, they built themselves a maximum advantage at one stage of nine and a half minutes, and when they got to the summit of the climb, in fact, it was Carter Jones who went across in first place, ahead of James Temper, getting himself maximum points. But in the main field, it was the team of TJ Van Garden who were really putting the hammer down. As they sprinted over the top, Lucas User in the blue here was scoring well for his team as well and keeping in the hunt for the Nissan King of the Mountains title. Carter Jones, though, was building the first day's lead in that competition. So the two leaders up front, uh, Marge Cooper, the new Canadian rider, was being dropped by the front leaders. Uh, Zach Dempster, the Australian, he had already been dropped. It was leaving just two riders to try and strike out for the finish with some 38 kilometres, 24 miles still to go. Yeah, strangely enough, it was the third category climb of Cole Gray that really started to put the pressure on in the leading group of riders, reducing it to just two men. And still Carter Jones seemed to have the legs that may well create the surprise and a stage victory for him, but he again got himself maximum points over Cole Gray. But it was actually in the main field behind that there was an awful lot of pressure that started to fraction the main peloton. Again, Lucas User spinning up towards taking the minor point at the top of the climb as they go over the summit. Four minutes and four seconds, the gap behind behind the leaders. Yes, it was at this point that lots of the uh, pre-race favourites were starting to suffer, including number 51, Peter Sagan, who was left behind. And it was because of the pressure of his team, Team Camarillo, that he was finally able to reintegrate the front part of the race, hoping to get himself an opening victory on stage one, as he had done 12 months ago. The two riders still clear, the main chase pack slowing down. It was a chance for Peter Sagan and his many men to rejoin the leaders. So the sprinter was getting himself back into position for a likely win when we got down to Escondido. Although the two leaders up front still had an advantage of just under three minutes. Yes, it was starting to look as if there could be a surprise, but even Philippe Gilbert was suffering with the heat, which approached 40 degrees Celsius or 100 degrees Fahrenheit out on the day. Down to two minutes and just ten miles of racing left. Now is Team Radio Shack, and also prominent up at the front there was uh, Andy Schleck, but at the back there was a crash involving Luis Romero of Cuba. And at first the fall looked quite serious, but he would remount and he would be held back towards the finish by his teammate Ben Jacques Mains. So Romero riding there, Ben Jacques Mains waiting for him, one of three riders in the race who's ridden all eight editions of the Amgen Tour of California. So it was down into the streets now of Escondido and the gap down to just 25 seconds. Two survivors had done a great job to survive on the day, but down to 500 metres advantage and all over the front end of the race, the control was lime green jerseys because Peter Saga was feeling very comfortable that this was going to be his overall victory. These two men had survived since the eighth mile of the race, but as they came into town, a final attack came from the bell, the Dutch rider on the Vacon Soleil team, Louis Vestre. Aconcelé have never been here racing in the United States before, and here they were now with a rider out on the attack. And Vestra, the 30-year-old rider, was quickly joined by Fantesco Mancebo, who rides here in the five-hour energy team. And Vestra didn't know who he was. As they got to the one kilometre to go, they still had an advantage. This put a lot of pressure on BMC Racing because Francisco Mancebo was regarded as one of the riders who could possibly win this bike race overall and TJ Van Garderen did not want to give him too much of an advantage. The field lining up, I think, realised they'd left it too late here as Mancebo opened up the sprint, trying to do what he'd done in Santa Rosa a few years ago and win. This time had to give bets to the Dutchman. And Vestra pointed at his sponsor, first time here, and we've got the winner. He would be the first wearer of the Amgen yellow jersey, and Peter Sagan cleaning up for third place in the bunch sprint. If only they'd have caught those two leaders, he might well have got his ninth stage victory historically of this race. But instead, it was Vestra.
Yes, I think a lot of riders, Phil, will talk about the heat of the day, but this man will talk about the victory of the day because his attack came just at the right time when everyone was a bit tired. The overall standings reflecting the day's stage result. Vesta, the first man in yellow. Mansebo in second place at four seconds. Peter Sagan at 12 seconds in the main field, all placed in a big bunch some 16 seconds back, led by the sprinter from Belgium, Jani Meersman. And Peter Sagan went towards the... Uh, podium thinking what might have been third place not good enough to take the first race leaders amgen yellow jersey so in escondido it was the dutch who were on top here